UK Garage, Future Garage, Two Step, Chill Step, Dub Step. How do we define these genres? Why do they have step in their name? And what does the future have to do with Garage? Hi, welcome to the Music Lab channel, where we publish background music playlists and talk about different music genres. Today, we are going to cover the brief history of UK Garage and its family tree. Without further ado, let's get into it. The term Garage as a genre derives from the name of the 80s New York nightclub, Paradise Garage, where DJs mix their favorite songs and samples. These experiments gave birth to a new genre, Garage House. Evolving directly from disco, DJs preserved more elements of the original disco sound, being noticeably influenced by soul and gospel in contrast to other styles of electronic dance music of that time. Paradise Garage, unlike other clubs of its time, was focused on dancing rather than verbal interaction, and it was the first to put the DJ at the center of attention. On the other side of the Atlantic, around 94, the UK influencers start morphing with the US garage and soulful house sound. UK DJs start to play dubs or instrumental versions of vocal tracks at a higher tempo. It becomes faster, tougher, and more focused on the bass line, while still keeping a lot of US influence. You may wonder, what makes the sound of UK Garage stand out? Here's one of the pioneers of UK Garage, MJ Cole describes it. That would be it really. For me, mainly the thing is the skip and the cheekiness of it as well. It's not like a, a house genre where it's all very big room and it's very linear and things build up and there's things happen quite slowly in a majestic way. Garage was very bumpy and chuck this in there'd be a tiny little fill here and then we'd switch to a different section and there'd be a little drum roll and you know very kind of cheeky and, and snappy and skippy. Pretty soon vibrant energetic upbeat garage sounds become popular and for a short but exuberant time it was a hit both in the underground clubs and radio stations. At the same time, producers started to experiment with the genre, mainly with the drum patterns. At first, Garage was one of the four on the floor genres that have kicks on all of the strong beats. It also included syncopated snares and hi-hats, but what if you do the opposite? Shuffle the kicks while keeping snares consistent. That's how you make a new subgenre. This subgenre of Garage got the name Two Step and gained a lot of attention. Around the turn of the millennium, UK Two Step Garage was all the rage. A combination of soulful house inspired by the famous Paradise Garage, Jungle's broken beats and booming bass, and Timbaland style RB Two Step Garage garnered commercial and chart success, and its influence lives on till today. Now, our next genre has a common misconception of being loud, abrasive, and annoying, but that's not how it was in the early days. This genre was a result of stripping down and spacing out two-step mixed with very low and heavy dub reggae bass. It came to bear the name dubstep. Dubstep became one of the few subgenres of Garage that garnered a wide mainstream audience outside the UK. However, its popularity led to new producers to keep only the most readily identifiable and obvious traditional dubstep elements, the tempo, the bass volume, and a drop. Wait for the drop. With every passing year, its sound grew more aggressive and wider audiences came to dislike it. Mainstream dubstep burned bright and died young. While the dubstep craze was at its prime, it influenced a variety of music genres ranging from pop to metal.
It weaves elements such as beats, wobbles, and breaks into many genres of modern popular music like trap and glitch hop. The logical reaction, once again, was to appeal to the broader audience by making it more subtle and chill. Chill Step is dubstep going back to its roots. It is also heavily influenced by down tempo and ambient. It has a spacious, atmospheric vibe and mindful undertones. Producers add warm, filtered sub bass, slower two step beats typically laced with echoing sounds of glass and everyday things like keys, coins, and zippers. You can often hear female voices in the hook, usually spliced with minor chords. Chill Step borrows some elements from two step and dubstep, like the beat or a wobbly bass, but it never goes overboard with them. Chill Step is way less aggressive and more structured, which makes it more relaxed and predictable. Although Chill Step has its distinct quality, it doesn't differ from its parents though to be called a new genre. It's more of a flavor to help you find the exact sound and mood you like. Like Chill Step, Future Garage is more of an umbrella term for music influenced by the UK Garage family tree. It is stripped back, minimal, and easy listening. Future Garage is like the nephew of a cool uncle who had been hitting the dance floor back in the 90s. This little fella is introverted and too shy to dance but pays respect to his uncle's rich history. The resulting sound is often quite minimalistic with skittery broken rhythms, bright clean melodies, and catchy vocal samples. Not purely dancing music in itself but a good one for contemplation. It is often hard to distinguish chill step from future garage as these terms are used very liberally to describe any kind of chill music that resembles garage but it's convenient for us to label them. Labels give us a better chances of finding the right tracks for our mood. And if you want music to help you work, study, or to be inspired check out our special featured playlist. That's it for today. Feel free to write down in the comments which genre you'd like us to break down deeper. There's a lot more we want to cover and if this video gets enough likes and comments, a new one will come out sooner. Subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more enjoyable music.